Well, here is our chosen product, chosen mostly on the price, a little bit on the design from Amazon.com. Here in the U.S., this is a external drive now for the high-speed USB, the USB 4.0 and Thunderbolt. We're going to open up, see what's inside. I've already looked in there. Ain't much to show you on camera, but we'll look. Well, that's what it looks like on the inside. This says that they have the new design that snaps down. I think that'll probably work better if they if they have real tight tolerances when you try to do the slidey top jobs. Unfortunately, it takes the uh, thermal pad with it, so I, I I prefer the hinge type or something like that. It's just just the old engineer in me. It looks like a better way to do things. Now we've got it as unboxed as I can get it. We have some little information on this side that says that it is in fact USB-C to M key, no B key. So it's only going to do, which only makes sense because most of the stuff that's B key is very slow anyway. So it's for NVMEs and it will do the 40, if I get it, if it won't come out of focus for me 40 gigabytes there now they do have a double barcoding on here i don't know what that's about they have the company information lots of chinese stuff down here and uh, they don't mean anything necessarily to me very short stubby cable almost useless i did order another one that came in this was supposed to be here the day after i ordered it but it was like they didn't ship it in. So I'm seeing a lot of that with a lot of these Chinese goods these days. They don't show up when they say they will. Paperwork. All right, there we go. Nothing to be ex excited about. Here's a little strap. I don't know what you need a strap for. Are you going to be walking around with this? Yeah, I'm just using it for my off-site backup. When I, when I do, we've got a little piece of metal, which is a heat sink of some sort, because it's got some like some shiny on the back side. Perhaps we stick this on top of the pad to keep it from wanting to slide on us. I don't really know. We'll have to read the instructions, see how they recommend putting it together. It weighs five ounces by itself without the NVMe installed. Well, they get points added and points deducted here. This as you can see, if I can get it close and I see the little balls on the end, they make, make little ball catches. I like that better than perhaps some kind of little kind of captured edges or whatever that might break because this is aluminum or maybe zinc, some kind of a, a metal that's not plastic, doesn't feel like plastic. And of course, you can see that it is in fact just an, uh, an M key there slot. is awfully large, which should help with the dissipation. But I, where we're going to take some points off, I swear it looked like it had a fan in it. And maybe it does underneath that little edge. See the little slotted edge there? So I think if we, we get it plugged in and if we don't feel any air moving, we'll be disappointed. Now some of the complaints on this product was, quite frankly, you don't know if it's the new version or the old version or whatever, but it says it's loud and the fan runs all the time. I do kind of wish that it was smart enough to say, hey, look, if I'm finding that my silicon in there is getting warm, then I come on. Otherwise, it shuts off, saves some bearing life and some, some, um, I guess, some complications in it. It could default to being on unless it saw it was below a certain temperature. But anyway, it is what it is. I think that's the air coming in. We have the these little slots on the top, which do blow across the back end of your NVMe, which is where it should be most of your your guys, your little NVMe's, they're going to work. Now what I don't see here is an adjustment for multiple sizes, so I, which is not a big deal. 2280 I guess is pretty well much the everybody expects to see its size and that works there. So it's not going to be bad. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit without getting too much of a finger shadow on it. You see, you only got the one hole. So that means it's going to be good for one length. We'll find out if the air does in fact circulate because I did want one that did that. 
with the old whatever I got in there, the Western Digital Gold that I'm using for backup, not real fast, but it's certainly fast enough to get 40 gigabytes a second using kind of a neighborhood instead of the 700 megabytes per second. It kind of goes when it's working, and that's before it finally soaks out and gets hot. Well, we've got her going together, top obviously. Here is the bottom, the one that we're taking out. This is just regular USB-C, I guess it's Gen 3, so it's only 10 megabits a second. It's not even a, a 2 byte so it's going to be about 10 megabits a second max. We can see it, it's stuck, stuck to its top, and that's pretty common, and I, that's why I do like these types that kind of go in and drop down versus ones you don't. Now, if I have my piece of thermal pad, I think it's the same same size as what we have here. So what I believe I'm going to do, is, and it may affect performance and on this, I'm going to try to peel this off so that we get it to make contact with our board over here. Now we got a little piece of rubber to go down here. It gave us three of these little rubber dudes to hold it into place. It shouldn't take too much to do that actually because it's going to be in that slot, but we don't want it to move around. So we're going to put her in there. Now put my little rubber guys back over my two spares. And of course here is my heat pad. It did peel off well enough without too much distortion. So I think since I'm not going to use this guy anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. I don't know where my little rubber guy went to. So it probably fell off when I was trying to pry this guy apart. So I'm going to go ahead and use the official one that came with it, the pad that came with it. Now when I look at this, I want you to look at this as well. Look how big the uh, PC board is. Looks like we might have some issues. I don't really know if it's designed so it pushes that we get just a little bit of air come across this way at this hole. Because the intake or exhaust, whichever one it is, is right here. Maybe they're really trying to get all the heat to come down through the two ends, like little ductwork on, on the bottom of the cooler. But if the holes are here and here, I guess it's going to go like this, underneath it, through the hole, and out here, underneath it, through the hole, which is good for that area that's going to be sitting on top of that chip. Now, if we had a Fison controller down here, something like that, we got some kind of little guy i don't know what that is i don't remember if this wd blue is a controller version let's see what it is four terabyte i don't know we're looking at sn 5000 we'll look that up on the internet i can't remember what i bought but as it sits it could get a little warmer on that side of it than it does where the chip is i don't remember seemed like when i tested these guys Originally, they got hotter with, the, they were with SN770s. They got hotter down here on the connection side than up here where the chip was, which was kind of not what I expected. And now we have our little material here, so it should just go in there and snap in, and it does. It's pretty neat. I like that. So we're going to go try it out. 40 gigabits per second. Hopefully. Now that will depend on what kind of hardware you have in there, but that's at least what the interface is purported to be good for. Now this is very odd. Not seen anything like this. Don't know if I like it. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's more gooder. As they say, but anyway, we've got the disk drive put in, but it says... You'll notice it says the aluminum strip goes on top. Say what? Right, so the aluminum strip goes on top and the silicone thermal pad goes on the bottom. So we're going to have to do it like this. We've got it already pre-stuck to the aluminum figure and it's straight. And we will go ahead and lay it on top of the drive and put it on. Now that I guess that's to have a minimum amount of aluminum contact guaranteed. What is the reason? Is it just too short? Maybe they need another thermal pad or a different thickness of thermal pad. Don't know. We'll put it on. We'll snap it together. And there we have it. We're going to snap it together. But if you notice, we got a little cavity 
cut out right there and it does look like it's been machined out if you can see the the milling the traces of the milling so it it was I don't know if this was cut com entirely or that was relief cut so that they could put that piece of aluminum I don't know what that's for since this is second generation I assume it's for the better that it does this focus camera focus there you go don't you like the way things obey my voice? Let's see if I can show this and keep it in focus. See how we can see our chips? They planned well as far as that goes, I guess. We got it against that white right there, but you can you can see if there's air flowing through there, it should, uh, if nothing else, work better? Question mark? Interrogative? Well, there's the plan. With the air conditioner running, I cannot hear the fan going, so I don't know what people were complaining about it being noisy. Maybe they got a bad one. But there we are. There's the beast. This should serve to do their backup for a while until I at least have to get an 8 terabyte, I guess it is. As the beast reboots, let's look at that. Awesome studio grade quality cell phone video we're taking here. Look at that. So there's our there's either the in or the outs and the in or the outs, depending on which one's which, I don't really know. Well we're back to our non-high-tech stuff, so we're gonna go down here to our is that it? I can't let me see what it is. I gotta look around it. Nope, gotta get folder to this. I click that. Let's see if it comes up. There it does. And in fact, there is Western Digital Blue. And so Linux sees it. And there is what it looks like when it's a working. We do have Windows up. We'll look at it in a second. It works on it as well. See, there she is. And here's some of that B-roll we may tack on the very end of it. And we're on our larger test if the exposure can adjust. There we go. Probably can't. There we go. No, it doesn't like it too much. Too much coming off of that panel. Maybe we get it that way. Anyway, you can see if it would read, which it's not going to. I'll have to screenshot that or throw this piece away. Hey, appreciate you watching. Do me a favor, if you will, subscribe to the channel, either the YouTube or the Rumble channel, which this appears in. And if you can, check the notification bell or settings to make sure that you get notified when new videos are posted. Appreciate it. Now, this is a little bonus Easter egg after the tail end of it. I've gone ahead and started another test. We're going to check some of the heat it puts off. It keeps it pretty busy. And we've got our little our little guy here. You recognize it, right? So we're gonna we're gonna hit that area right there at the discharge. And I'll have to look over the top of it. So while it's running, it's putting out some heat, I would say. We're gonna see. It looks like that may be stopped at 37. You may not want to keep this directly on a piece of wood find a desk or something like that because it may actually get a little a little toasty may affect the finish now let's look toward the back side i'm gonna scan from the back toward the front my looking at it on top of the case right about there as you see it so it's warming up what we'll do is we'll see if the fan actually works. As soon as it cuts off, we'll come back and we'll look at that spot right there. I know it can't be focused on the, the thermometer in it too, but we'll look at that, the air hole right there versus the top of it. Now it just finished. We'll see how it's doing inside there. 31 degrees see if it's cooling down any let's see if it's any hotter up top yeah it hadn't really done, did a whole lot up top so i got a feeling it's going to be a little bit warmish 
But as long as it doesn't get toward the hundreds or eighties where it can shut down, I guess it, it'll keep its speed up. I have felt the other one at a hundred over a hundred degrees on the on the American side of it, the Fahrenheit side, which wouldn't have been nearly that that toasty, but it was still warm to touch. We got it up into Windows, as you can see here. What we're going to do is we're going to look for this WD Blue. This is how I name my disk drives because I have so much imagination, or maybe it's the old engineer in me. This one is running off of the T705. Also, it's partitioned off to D, C and D, 705. I can't help it if I have no style. I just have the information. It especially helps sometimes when you're working on a system and moving drives and the letters move around that you don't actually want to get the wrong one. So 705 is in the name of the drive. 600 and 600, that's on the Win 10. That's the one that came with the uh, Core Ultra that uh, they sent me for, quote, quote, free out of New Egg. And, of course, there's our 500 blue and the raids made with SN770. So we do know that we're on this one right here because, again, I have such an imagination. Western Digital Blue. Okay. So we're, so we're looking for G on our crystal disk mark that we have here, back and forth. So let's change. This is 128. That's pretty, that's pretty large, I guess, time-wise. Let's go ahead and move that to something a little bit smaller just for the funds of it. And then we move this now to G. There we are. Because see, G, it doesn't give us our name. That's why we like to verify it ahead of time because we could start this test and be wrong. So there we are. We've just started our little test. We'll see how long it takes. We'll we'll do a speed up of this recording. Well, that doesn't look good at 76. That could be a fluke. Could be that it's 80 degrees in here. I've got to run some more duck work. But it looks it looks on par with the maximum advertised rates they would expect for a, a 5,000. Supposed to be good for 50, 50, 51 or something like it, around 5,000, and it's going nearly four. So that's not bad for an externally mounted through a serial drive. Drive, I mean, that's getting it pretty good. Again, this must have... Um, I had to look that up. This must have a controller of some sort on it rather than memory of the computer. But either which way, it's working pretty good. That's a little slow on the right side. Usually I would expect uh, reads to be faster simply because it's just going and fetching, right? It doesn't have to do anything but go get the bits and pull them off. Whereas when you write them, you got to do a little bit more work. Now we can try something a little bit bigger. I don't know if it's worth much for us because, again, this is going to be limitation, I think, of the NVMe itself rather than the box because the box can do well enough by itself, I would think. Anyway, I'm happy with that for 60 bucks or whatever it was. It's not bad. I did give $10 for that extension cable because my uh, ports, my Thunderbolt 4 ports are on the back of the computer, and so I've got a th um, one meter or 3.3 foot job uh, coming underneath the case poking out front where i get to it that way i don't have to have it plugged in that much if i don't want to anyway appreciate you watching we'll see you next show